Hey guys, Ryan here, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival. And, as you can see, we are in our lovely, lovely mine. In today's episode, we are going to be doing something that I wasn't sure whether I was going to do, but I've decided we're going to. We're going to the nether, okay? And then the title of this video is going to be some kind of pun based on nether, because I always do that. You can go back through all of my old Minecraft series, you'll see that every single episode where I go to the Never is a pun based on the word. It's like, never again, and, you know, never go to the Never, and, and things like that. So that's probably what this title's going to be, just because it's a tradition at this point. But I do have to figure out a way to use it. But, hey, we'll, we'll, I'll figure something out. But anyway... So we are down in the mine because we do need a little bit of cobblestone. As you can see, I was gathering up some obsidian so we can make a portal. We want to grab a little bit of cobblestone because we're going to need some of it. And like I said in the last episode, I believe, I do know where the fortress or where a fortress is in this world because I didn't want to venture too far into the nether. But we're going to be deleting the chunks or deleting the fo or the file, I mean, sorry anyway so it doesn't really matter too much but either way i know where the fortress is now so might as well just go straight towards it and our main goal for today is to get blaze rods some quartz probably and most importantly to not die because we have all of this diamond stuff on us which we don't really want to lose i mean if we do lose it i'm not overly concerned because well you know, look at that, don't mean to flex, but hey, got quite a few diamonds, so if we do die, I'm not overly worried, we have got, ah, we're going to have to take this with us for the quartz, okay, so this is going to be interesting, but anyway, we only need 10 obsidian, so we've got 4 there already, we'll go ahead and give ourselves some more, so we'll put what's left in there, and also before we do quickly go to the nether, I say quickly, it's going to be a while, we need a flint and steel as well before we run off again. There we are. We already had one. Good. I'm going to show off the fishing hut that we made, or fishing cabin, I guess, that we made last episode. Sorry if you heard me. Too. My throat went really weird. It was kind of a burp, but at the same time not a burp. It was really weird. Don't know what happened. Anyway, moving on, we are going to be showing off the fishing hut. I went ahead and finished it up out of the episode because I wasn't liking exactly how it was looking. I'm still not 100% liking it, but it looks better than it did in my opinion. But yes, so we are going to be going to the Never in this episode just after we show off this lovely fishing hut. So as you can see, we make our way through the trees and bam, here it is. I brought out this step bit because I didn't like because how we made it, we put the logs all the way along here with the spruce. Then it sort of cut it off, but I made it all one, so it's just one big front deck. And then I textured up the walls, and if we head on inside, we've got a nice little area. There's a nice little cot here to sleep in, you know. Um, there's some barrels just for storage. As you can see, I put a trap door on top of there just to make it look a bit nicer. Added in some lovely brown carpet because I thought that that would go quite well with the style we've gone for. And I wanted to bring in some sort of plants, so we brought in a flower pot. Well, this is the flower pot. This is just a plant pot. We've got some leaves on there, a composter, of course, and a lovely orange flower with a, you know, or in a flower pot. More storage for our fish and things like that. And here is our fishing rod. So and that's where I sort of left it. It's becoming nighttime, even though I slept right before I started recording, but this seems to happen every single time. But then I did change up this area. I added in all the fences. I decided to go with this because I had this idea anyway. I just like how it goes from full block, slightly smaller, and then the fence, and then it goes back out again. I also changed this up so it's slabs and trap doors now instead of the actual roof. And there's campfires up there. You can barely see them, but they are there. Then I added in a nice little chair here, which is where we'll sit. We can fish just like so. And there are pillagers over there. I couldn't tell if they were pillagers or cows, but they're definitely pillagers. So that's great. We'll probably have to kill those guys. We might as well sleep here, because why not? I mean, I put the bed here for this exact reason. 
but then I did add in a barrel here just for extra storage some scaffolding because it kind of looks like fishing nets I guess kind of but also it could just be more storage not sure just thought it added in a nice little detail so now that we've shown this off we're going to jump into the water actually and go this way towards the pillagers because we're going to kill them because I can't stand them being around here and they spawn that much I just want to kind of get rid of them to be fair it's a little bit laggy as we come into the chunks that I haven't loaded in a while there's only two which is kind of strange there's normally a lot more than that oh wow we're getting a little bit of lag here it might be something to do with the cows to be honest I'm not entirely sure but we'll see in a second if it stays nope there we go we got this guy they're all dead I think Unless there's more around here, which I don't think there is. But we do have... This is where I've been breeding all my cows. It's not very efficient, but... Hey, it does the job just fine. So now, we are going to officially go to the Never. I know <laughs> we're six minutes into the video already and we haven't gone to the Never yet. It's fine. We'll probably be in there again next episode anyway. And here's our salmon from last episode. I went ahead and named it Schweet. Like Vanellope Von Schweet in Wreck-It Ralph because I wanted to, I was going to name it Sweetie because it's with all the sugar cane. I was also tempted to name it Sugar but then I was like, eh, let's just name it Sweetie because why not? Or no, Sweet. But yeah, I just thought it was interesting. Didn't want to throw it back into the sea. I wanted to, so, since it was our first fish, you know, that we got in the bucket and got an achievement for it, figured it deserved a name and we'll make a nicer place for our lovely fish at some point, rather than just a sugarcane pond, I guess. Anyway, moving on. I want the nether portal to be decently far away from the area, because I don't want to be constantly hearing the whooshing of the nether portal. So, I do believe there's a cave, yeah, right over here. This is where we're going to have it. I explored this before, this is where I put it in the creative world. So, we're going to put it here in the actual world too. So, we're going to go ahead and break these blocks out. For those of you that were wondering, I'm sure many of you probably weren't, but we will be working on the Orkish village sometime soon. Not like, sure exactly when. We've got a few things. I want to make some diamond armor because I've, no I've been watching Hermitcraft because that's back now for season 7. And literally, first episode, all of them, diamond armor, diamond tools, enchanting, everything. And we're, this is, what, the 16th episode? Yeah, 16th episode into this series. 16 episodes into this series, and we only now have diamond tools. So we're going to be making diamond armor sometime soon. Not sure exactly when, but we will be. I know that much. Have we got everything we need? I believe so. Okay, well, here goes nothing. We're going to spawn on this tiny tiny platform so we need to hope that we don't get attacked by ghasts straight away i'm sure we won't but in case we do actually it's it's bigger than i remembered it's going to be a little bit laggy here as we're loading in these brand new chunks but not bad to be fair i mean we've got the mushrooms and i will also take down the coordinates while the world is loading in. We're on day 415. Nice, not bad. Screenshot this, 10 FPS in the corner. You guys can't see that, but I can. 10 FPS, now it's going up 16, 11. Wow, this is breaking my frame rate. But yes, yeah, so we took that screenshot so we know where the portal is. It's actually not an awful spawn because the fortress is decently close. But we are going to go ahead and do this because I don't want any ghasts to destroy our portal. Thank you very much. Although we did bring the flint in steel just in case that does happen. I'm hoping it won't, but just in case it does, we brought that as a safety measure. And we're going to build up here. We're being very risky here. I don't like that. I need to stop doing that. But also, I wanted to mention, don't know why... I started another hardcore world. I already had one, but I decided to make another one because I got fed up with the one I had and didn't like the builds and everything I'd made in there. So I didn't delete it, I kept it, but I just decided to go and move on to a new world. And I had this really great world 
and I was really enjoying it. Had a new pet dog that was protecting me from skeletons and everything. Having a great time, and I forgot that my shield had broken, so got killed by a creeper because I literally I saw that the creeper drop down on me in a cave and I was like hey it's fine I'll just raise my shield and block the explosion yeah no turns out forgot to remake the shield so kind of died so that was fun my poor dog and my poor chicken are now stuck in that world all alone because you know I died but then I made another one, died again, made another, died again, made another, I think I died again, or no, I didn't die in this one, I'm still alive currently, but will probably be dead by the time this video comes out. I hope not, because I currently have two dogs and a cat, so that's pretty cool. I think I named the dog River, because I found it in a river. I mean, I don't know... Why? But hey, and the cat I got was found in a witch hut, so that was pretty cool. Because there's always black cats in witches' huts. And it's strange, I'm... <sighs> These guys are not going to be here for much longer. We should take a screenshot of them, right? Just for memory's sake. There we go. Do you want to... Do you want to take a selfie? Okay, let's take... Let's all take a group picture. Anyone want to look at the camera? No? Let's just take a group selfie. There we go. Oh, it's going to be weird. I mean, I know they're still going to be in the game. They're just going to be renamed and retextured. But it's still strange. They've been in this game for so long. I mean, I don't remember if they were in it when I started playing it. I feel like they were. I don't really remember. It's been a few years. But it's going to be really strange seeing the new textures and the new models for them. Although, I do have to say... I do like the new models for them. The piglins and everything, and the hoglins. It looks like it's going to be a really good update, to be fair. And I am very, very excited for it. So, until it comes out, we're going to be continue playing this world before we reset the never. We are 12 minutes into this video already. I like how I just keep doing recaps on the time. It's because I have to record before my brother and sister get home from school, so I have to make sure that I have time to finish recording before they do, so I keep checking the time. But we're looking good. I, I don't remember the coordinates exactly to where this fortress is, but I know it's this direction, so I'm hoping we're going to come out somewhere and then it'll be there and we'll be able to see it so we can then just walk over to it. Quartz is a great source of experience, but also, I believe we're going to be using it for the fairy, or slash pixie, probably both, area. So, we're going to need it, because I want to use a lot of whites and pastel colours and things like that. I think it could be nice. This music is really loud, and I don't know why. It's probably nowhere near as loud for you guys, but you'll still be able to hear it. I can hear a ghast as well, which isn't really the greatest thing in the world. I'm, I think we should just start going diagonally in hopes of coming out onto some platform. I don't know. And also, I think the Never right now, the area, or the main area that is all of the Never right now, is being renamed to the Never Wastes, right? I don't think it's the Wastelands. I think it's just the Wastes. And that's interesting. And apparently they're going to be a lot rarer. So that's going to be interesting. Not too sure what to make of that, but I think it's I think it's going to be a good update. To be fair, I'm really hoping it's going to be a really good update. Um, we're starting to get laggy, so I'm wondering if we're getting close to something. I don't think we are. It seems like we've been mining forever at this point, even though we really haven't. But hey, if we're going to keep going until we can't anymore. Well, our pickaxe won't break or anything like that, but until I get bored of mining, we're going to keep going this way. And hopefully find the fortress that I've spoken about so much in this episode that we're here specifically to find. And I'm going to turn down the Minecraft music. There we go. Turned it down a little bit, so hopefully it won't be as loud. I still like hearing it because the music's great. I like the music. But it can be a little bit loud and obnoxious sometimes. Even though it's very nice music, don't get me wrong, I love it so much, that's why I play with it on. 
And we lagged back a little bit there, but that's fine. We'll just keep mining up this quartz. How much have we got? Only a stack and 12, which isn't the greatest, but could be worse, I suppose, as well. And I keep forgetting to place down torches. I mean, we don't really need to. It doesn't stop anything from spawning, but... I just want to remember our way back, so I feel like torches are a good way to do that. Even though we just dug a tunnel straight here, so it's not like we'll really get lost anyway. But you never know with the never. It can be a dangerous place. Yeah, I, I suppose with the blazes and the ghasts. Fun fact, blazes are one of the mobs I dislike the most in Minecraft. Just because of how many times I have died to them. Fun fact and Endermen are my favourite. Another fun fact, see? Getting to know each other here is great. Gotta keep mining up this quartz. Looks like this episode is just gonna be an episode of me mining quartz. Maybe gonna find the fortress. Okay, we've reached the end of this little crevice, but we will mine these quartz too. Oh, didn't mean to do that with the other pickaxe, it's just too quick. Right, there we go. Awesome, gotta place another torch. We're going to be out of torches very soon. I had plenty of stacks of torches back home. I just didn't bring any of them. Because I honestly didn't think that it would take me this long to find where we're going. But, hey, looks like I underestimated it. But we're going to keep going. I feel like we're going too far. I want to go this way. Okay. We might have found where I'm wanting to go. Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. We've come to an opening, which could be a good sign. I'm not 100% sure. I'm thinking it's going to be a good sign, but we'll see. We're going to climb up. Don't hit the pigman, please. Okay. Torch. Okay, please don't walk in front of me swinging my pickaxe. That would be greatly appreciated if you didn't do that. Okay, so let's see. Is there a fortress anywhere around here? I believe there should be. But then again, I don't know exactly where. Let's turn our render distance up. I think my render distance is at 10. Yeah, 10 chunks. Let's turn it up to 25 and hopefully my laptop can handle it. And hopefully we'll find the fortress as well. Wow, it's definitely very laggy using this many chunks a little bit or as it's loading in anyway is that the fortress there no it's not it's just the ceiling of the never so i'm thinking that if it's not there it's got to be somewhere this way maybe i don't know we're going to turn our render distance back down to 10 just because i don't want to be playing with that extreme amount of lag I mean, it's not going to be very great for the video, but we'll go ahead and mine this area. Plus, it's also because these are unloaded chunks, or chunks I've never loaded before, so they're new, and it just takes a while to load those guys up, but we're all good. We're in the never. We're doing good. We're So far, I mean, we're looking pretty good. We got ourselves some quartz, you know, not the biggest amount, or largest amount, I should say, of quartz in the world, but... It's an amount, right? And, you know, it, it, that's all we can ask for. I am basically going to drain the never of all the quartz I can before we reset it, just because... Not even because I want the experience, but because we're going to need it for building, and they're not exactly the... I mean, they're everywhere, but also, like, they're kind of not at the same time. There's You barely get any from them, so... That's why we brought our fortune pickaxe, because I just didn't want to... I wanted to get the most from each of the ores, is all it is, really. So, okay, gonna careful here, because we don't want to... I realised I said we're gonna careful here, I meant to say we're gonna be careful here. But you guys, you guys get the gist, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's exactly what I didn't want to do. There's a ghast around here somewhere, not sure exactly where. Maybe we can get the return to sender achievement. Who knows? We're gonna keep mining these quartz. Seems like this is the episode, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival. In this episode, we are going to be mining quartz, and hey! <laughs> looks like we stumbled across the fortress. I know it was in this general area, like I said, I just didn't know exactly where. 
And we are building up our levels quite quickly, to be fair. Considering we were on 25 when we came in here, so we've gone up five levels in 20 minutes. Less than that, actually, because we haven't been in here for 20 minutes. We've been in here for maybe 14 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. Okay. Now, this is... Okay, we're going to have to get rid of some of this stuff. So we're going to chuck out some of this Neverrack because we're not going to need all of it. So we'll keep two stacks on us just because... Because there's probably going to be Never War and stuff like that in here. So I believe I may have gone through some of the chests. I don't really remember. I think there were a few diamonds or something like that in here when I went on the creative world. But... Um, I don't remember exactly, so hopefully we'll find some good stuff, but we've got an empty inventory just ready to go. Okay, so we're going to make our way up here as safely as possible. I say as safely as possible, and I start building up. Okay. Oh, a terrible fortress. That was quick. We're not even in the fortress yet. We're just next to it. Okay, let's take this never brick. All right, so we are in. In. I think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to use cobblestone as a marker just to show us how to get out of here because we ran out of torches used them all which probably wasn't the best move on my part but hey we did it now and let's mine up this quartz how many times have I said let's mine up these quartz in this episode don't know but I'm sure it was quite a few times However many are there. Okay, not bad. It just keeps going. Wow, that scared me. I thought I was going to fall to my death, but we are all good. Okay, nothing down there. Right, so we're going to go this way. I can't really tell if there's anything down that way, but we're going to go this way because hopefully there is something here. I believe there is an end. I know we walked right past quartz. I'm not stupid. I did see them. I chose not to mine them because we can do that outside of the episode because I just want to explore this fortress to be fair. I'm going to jump over these. Oh, I'm failing at this. I'm like, yeah, we're going to jump over these cobblestone and then I get stuck on every single one. There seems to be more stairs over here, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And bang, just like so. We're going to place another one there. Anything good up here? There seem... Is that... Oh, no, it's a mushroom. I thought that mushroom was a, like, really far away blaze. Yeah, it's not, but hey. And also, heard a wither skeleton. Not sure where, but heard one nonetheless. Don't know where it came from, though, which is kind of concerning. Is it beneath us, maybe? I don't know. I mean, these are both dead ends over here, so... We're doing all right. Let's go. Where did I... How, co how did I hear? Ah. Okay. That makes sense. And it looks like the blazes are stuck up there. Which is good for us. Because it'll make it easier to farm them. But for the time being, we're going to make our way down here. Because I believe this may be where we heard the wither skeleton. And yes, it is. This is where knockback's actually going to come in handy because it means that we can smack the wither skeleton away from us so we don't get wither. But it's going to be quite annoying. Ah, oh, we still got wither. Of course we did. Well, we're going to place this here and we're going to place all of these here so we know which way we need to go. And there is another blade spawner here by the looks of it. So we're going to go ahead and try and take on some of these guys. Hopefully put up our shield just like so, so we don't get set on fire, preferably, but hey. Okay. And you, thank you very much. We are going to place a roof on this so that they cannot fly out and, you know, kill us because of it. So there we go. They shouldn't be able to get out right now. And did they not spawn because the fire was lighting up too much? I'm not sure. Maybe. But... Okay, yeah, nope, there we go. Speak of the devil, whoa, okay. Okay, right, let's try and kill as many of these as we can. Shield up, because they're going to start starting fires. Of course, I stood in the fire. There we go, okay, shield back up. You, shield up. And down, there we go, okay. Fish, how many? Okay, we've only got two? Are you kidding me? 
I feel like that should have been more than two. This up, shield up, even though it doesn't really matter because it's that guy in the corner that keeps getting us because I can't kill him or didn't kill him. I just kind of ignored the fact that he even existed, but let's do that. Oh no, we're going to die. Oh no, we're not. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's heal up. Whew, okay, cutting it a bit close there, Ryan. You should probably watch your health bar more than you are currently. And I know we just walked off, but it's fine. I just wanted to check that this area was secure enough that there weren't going to be any mobs coming down after us. But we are going to head back into where the blazes are. I think we'll end this episode soon. We'll take it for... We'll go on for another minute or so, just trying to get a few more blaze rods. But then we will be ending this episode here. Okay, there are two hits, right? But with... This is a thing, right? With the knockback on the sword, it's it's useful in the fact that we can stop them from setting us on fire, but it's annoying in the fact that you have to keep going towards them. How do I... Okay, there's fire on the ground. That's why I keep getting set on fire. I'm f oh, okay. I thought we were going to die again. Okay, we're running. We are running. I know I keep retreating, but I don't want to die, okay? Our armor is starting to break, which is going to be a little bit annoying, because once that's gone, we are going to be destroyed by these guys. But I think if we can get them in this corner, right? This corner specifically, we can just... Yes! Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this, right? Like this. But we're going to leave this one open so that I can get out. But then we're going to block it so that they can't. Okay. And maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, I got an idea. Break this. Scaffolding. Can they go through scaffolding? I don't know. We'll find out, though. And I'm hoping if we stand in this corner and block that, if we stand here like this, hopefully they'll spawn and we can just knock them into a corner. Ah, oh, of course he managed to set me on fire before he disappeared. I was hoping we were going to be able to kill it before it lit us on fire, but turns out didn't work. Yeah, we're going to die. We are dead. We're not? How are we not dead? I am, I've been sure that we were dead about 700 times now. And yet, here we are, still alive. And I don't know how or why. Okay. I'm going to eat this cod. This cod really isn't the best source of food. But we have so much of it, we might as well just use it. Need to really build up the steak collection, really. But, okay, let's go back in here. Shield up. Okay. Okay, we're definitely dead now. We're definitely dead. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Ah! Oh. <sighs> Had a feeling. Had a feeling that that was going to happen. Right, well, I'm going to have to head back into the Never to try and get my stuff back. <sighs> this is why we don't go to the Never, okay? We never go to the never. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, make sure you stick around for the next one, which will be out very, very soon. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!